Welcome back. Today I will finally be addressing the relay issue of these brand new Royal Enfield Interceptor 650s. Um, personally, I don't think I've run into the issue just yet, but um, you know, it's always nice to do these preventive uh, measures. So the story is that, you know, Royal Enfield put a lot, and I mean a lot, of grease. Yeah, they put a lot of grease in 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 their uh, on their relays and the sockets. So you know it's supposed to be uh, keep out the water and corrosion, but when you put too much, it inhibits an electrical connection, which you know some people have experienced. Um, you know difficulty starting up or the bike just dying in the middle of the ride, which is no good. So. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, they put a generous amount because of the weather and conditions in India, you know, there's, it's very humid and a lot of uh, monsoons happening there. So it may be good for the India market, um, save, saves them a lot of headaches, but over here in sunny California, where it uh, hasn't rained for, I don't know, the past year, uh, you know, I don't really need that. So. Today I will be cleaning the, the grease, all of the grease off with this uh, electric cleaner and I will be installing or changing them out for uh, some new relays I will show you guys. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first you want to take, oh shit take off the side panel then you want to take the seat off right here push it up up and out here yours should not look like that I have replaced this bolt with one of these GoPro screws uh, as somebody on YouTube or I don't know where said that it fits perfectly so I tried it out. I had an actual GoPro mount screw on hand and it fits perfectly. I don't know where I put the original screw. So yeah, but um, here it is. You can use, if you have an extra one, just uh, put it in there so you don't have to take out an Allen key every time you uh, want to open the left side, left side uh, uh, panel over here. Here's the trick with this one. It's, you want to pull out Come on. Okay, I need two hands. Here we go. So you want to pull out first and then up because that's a little hook. So if you pull it out, it might bend that. So you see how it's already a little bent, but oh well. All right, so take off the left side panel. That's where I put my air tag in case you want to steal my bike. Anyway, so in here, these are your relays. Okay. Let me get the diagram here, just so I don't get it wrong. You have, you have four relays over here. This one is your main relay, top left. Top right is going to be your starter relay. Okay. Bottom left is your accessory relay. So, I mean, you can, it's in the headlight. You can plug in a little USB mount and then a uh, USB uh, cable thing to charge your phone. That's for that. Generally, if you don't have anything plugged in, you can use this as a spare in case any one of these breaks. Bottom right is going to be your, your fuel pump relay. So once again, main relay, starter, accessory, and fuel pump. So what we want to do is we want to take each of these out and spray it with this, oh shoot, this electronic cleaner. These relays are seated with a bracket over here and you just kind of pull up and they'll come out so let's get these see I've already cleaned it pretty good but as you can see there's still a whole bunch on here so this is what the relay looks like obviously if you have a brand new one there's gonna be a whole lot more grease on there but I cleaned these pretty good previously as you can see in the socket still lathered 
with grease. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to clean these out. Oh, okay, so <laughs> it just sprays out the back. So I'm gonna cover the bag, hopefully. Okay, that's fairly clean. See, they should be looking like that instead of all greased out. So that's good. Please consider subscribing if you're liking this video so far. All right, so for the replacement relays, um, my original choice was going to be the Bosch 033-220-1107. And after poking around online at different websites, it came out to a total of 10 to $11 a piece for one relay. So I went and got the next best thing. These are the Panasonic CM1-R-12V and I got these on Aero. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is the right one. Oh my goodness. It's, a, it's, it's significantly smaller. And these came out to be $6 each and they're significantly uh, heavier so than the OEM ones. And I'll get you a size comparison. This is a, an OEM one, OEM uh, relay, and this is the Panasonic. And I will uh, go ahead and install these on the bike. So once you've given enough time for these uh, sockets to completely dry out, you'll need some of these. These are dielectric grease. You can get the Permatex brand or you can get the CRC brand, which I don't have right here because it was a giant tube for $15 and I only needed, you know, just a little bit. So you can get those if you have more uses than I do, but I ultimately went with this dielectric grease, got it for about five bucks at Advanced Auto Parts. Yep, that's where I got it. You know, put a decent amount, but don't, don't go crazy like like Royal Enfield there, you know. There you go. See, there's that. And then you wanna double check that's dry. And then let's start off with the main relay. Goes in, bam, just like that. All right, there you go. That's all you need. Just not, not too much. Less is more. Let's seat that back on there. Voila, it's all done. You might be wondering, now I'm left with essentially a whole tube of this stuff. What can you use it with? Well, you can use it probably in uh, your light bulb or your light bulb seats in the socket. You can use it for that. You can use it on your mechanical keyboards, on your uh, stabs. So on your space bar, there's a, you know, the little stabs on there. You can use that to grease it up as lube, but don't use it on the actual switch itself because there's no metal in there, unless you have metal keycaps and such. Anyway, I am going to attempt to start the bike now. Ignition. Okay, so the fuel pump engages, which means everything works. And I shall start. Maybe I need two hands. Clutch in. Start. Okay, so immediately I notice um, it starts a lot smoother than, you know, it's already smooth. But I, I, I feel like it, it it's, uh, revs a little higher. I mean, it uh, idles, sorry. It idles just a tiny bit higher and throttle response is a bit more responsive. A bit more responsive. Uh, maybe that's just me. However, um, I would say this is a success. I shall keep these in case these fail. If you haven't watched my review on this bike, check it out by clicking 
the link or video in the middle of your screen. And please consider subscribing if you found this video helpful and please stay tuned for more to come. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next time. Cheers.